Hey, this is Callie from Telltale Poetry, and today I want to talk to you guys about submitting your poems. A lot of you have come to me with questions about how to talk to editors, how to submit your work, how to find magazines to submit to, and so I just wanted to really briefly discuss some tips and tricks for submitting. The first thing you want to do when you're submitting your work is make sure that the magazine or journal that you're submitting to would actually be interested in your poems. For example, I would not sub submit a Christian poem to a political themed magazine. Just wouldn't really make sense, would it? So you wanna make sure that whenever you're submitting, the call for submission, right, the open reading period, is actually looking for the type of work. So if you have a bunch of poems about a ghost pirate, let's say, you wanna see if there's any open reading periods where magazines are looking for poems about ghost pirates. And sometimes they are. Uh, maybe not that specific, but you might find magazines that are focusing on the paranormal or ghosts or the supernatural. And so you'd want to see if they'd be interested in ex accepting your work. So that's the first tip is make sure that the theme of the magazine or the theme of that reading period matches what you're working on. And sometimes you're just writing poems about love or your life or happiness, and that's fine too. And you want to find magazines that accept general submissions. So you wouldn't want to submit to those themed magazines if you're writing um, on a non-theme, right? If you're just kind of writing poems. So the second thing is you want to actually research the journal. When you're submitting, you don't want to say, dear editors, right? You want to say, dear Ashley McCracken from Black Warrior Review, or you want to say, dear Don Cher from Poetry Magazine, or you want to actually include their name. Um, so that means you have to read the journal and you have to look at the masthead, see who's reading the poetry. And you can even go deeper and read their poems. Um, but I would remind you that just because a poet is writing a certain way doesn't mean they would like, <clears throat> excuse me, or dislike your work. So if you see that one of the poetry editors from the magazine is writing super tra traditional poems and you write very experimental poems, you should not let that deter you from submitting because the sub submission team usually has a small staff of readers. So it's gonna go through a lot of eyes. So that's the second thing is make sure you do your research and address the editor by name. <clears throat> the third thing is to actually plan your submissions because they sometimes cost money. And so you wanna make sure that you have enough funds to cover the submissions that you want to reach during that reading period. So whether you wanna to submit to five magazines or 50 magazines, make sure that if they charge that you have the payment necessary. And the final thing is to make sure you're tracking your submissions. It's a big no-no to have your work submitted in one magazine and accepted, and then also accepted in another magazine. And that's how you can get blacklisted, dun, 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 from magazines. So make sure that you're tracking it using Submittable, which is www.submittable.com. Or like me, you can just use a regular old Excel sheet with the titles of the poems, the date you submitted, any notes, and whether it was accepted. That's a little bit more old school, but it does the trick for me. So find something that works for you and keep updating it. It is an annoying task, and we can also help you with that here at Telltale, but I think that with a little bit of research and a little bit of confidence, you'll be fine. So if you have questions about the submission process, or if you'd like some submission support, feel free to email me at hello at telltalepoetry.com and we can talk more about querying editors or chatting um, with editors as well. Thanks so much.